Hello and welcome back to Multiventor X. Today's video is something that we all are worried about and that is payment or rather the way in which payment is processed in a marketplace. We all know that payments are a wholly integrated process that includes the involvement of three individual parties, the customers, the vendor and the admin. While WooCommerce assumes the responsibilities of all the customer to admin payments, MultiVendorX on the other hand takes charge of the admin to vendor payments. We will learn more about this as we proceed with our video. Now let's begin by understanding the flow of a payment process. Customer to admin payment In a customer to admin transaction, the checkout process is mostly handled by the WooCommerce. Since MultiVendorX is compatible with all the WooCommerce compatible gateways, you can receive payments anyway. To know more about WooCommerce related payment inquiries, refer to WooCommerce channel. But for your conveniences, we shall be showing the way in which you can enable WooCommerce related payment gateways. As always, our starting point is the admin dashboard. From there, we shall be selecting WooCommerce and then the WooCommerce settings. Now that we are on the WooCommerce setting page, we shall select the different modes through which we want to receive payments. Once everything is in place, select the Save button. Now the checkout flow looks something like this. The customer purchases a product, goes to the checkout page, makes payment to the admin and the admin receives the payment and lastly pays the vendor his or her share. You can however avoid this entire hassle by adding extensions like Stripe, PayPal and Razorpay, where vendors receive payments as soon as the customers clears their bills. With the MultiVendorX modules, you can enable this payment gateways below the payment box available right here. It is completely your choice to decide which gateway you might use for paying the vendors. Let me swipe all the gateways that comes under the free version. For this, the options are PayPal Mass Pay, with the help of which you can pay off multiple vendors at one go. PayPal Payout offers a similar setting to Mass Pay. Then you have Stripe, which is super easy to set up and use. It is also a convenient gateway for customers preferring to make payments using credit or debit cards. Razor Pay, but this option is available only if you have the MultiVendor X Razor Pay installed. And finally, the old school way of direct bank transfer. Also, if you opt for any of the payment modes among Stripe, PayPal Payout and PayPal Mass Pay, you will notice that there are few sub-tabs available below the gateways value. You can learn in detail about this through our upcoming videos on each individual Stripe, PayPal and Razorpay. Hopefully, we are able to clear your confusion about the first phase of the payment process. Next, we shall proceed to learn about how admin to vendor payments take place. MultiVendorX offers you several methods of payment that you can use to pay your vendors. As always, our configuration begins from the admin dashboard and from there we navigate to MultiVendorX and then click on settings. Once redirected to the setting page, we shall select the commission where the whole process will take place. If you have watched the commission video, you would be familiar with the settings under this tab. But in case you have missed it, you will find it on our channel and we'll link the video under the description box below. In the commission video, we have seen how important the role played by the revenue sharing mode and the other settings. But in this video, the settings from the payment gateway charges section plays a major role. To start off for the admin to pay the vendor, we must decide the type of payment methods we will use to make our payment. Now that we know how we want to make our payments, let's take a look at smaller details like the payment gateway charges. As you know, every time a transaction proceeds, there is a certain amount that is deducted by the user. By enabling this option, you can decide who would bear the charges. In this case, 
we select the site owner from the drop down. It means you will bear the charges. The fee for using the gateway will get deducted from your earnings or commissions. Finding a bit more complicated to understand? Never mind. We will make it more easier for you. Let's understand that by using an example. Suppose product cost is $100, where the commission is 30%. The gateway charges is set to 10%. When the customer pays $100 for the product, the product owner receives the whole amount. So with the gateway charge of 10%, the admin will get something like around $100 minus $10 which is $90. In addition to the vendor commission of 30% is deducted from this $90. The final amount received by the vendor would be $90 minus $30, which is equal to 60. So the admin receives exactly $60 instead of 0% admin fee. When vendor bears the gateway charges, a sum for the gateway is deducted from the vendor commission. Once again, we shall be learning that by using another example. Suppose the product price is $100, when the commission is set to 30% and the gateway charges is set to 10%. In this case, the gateway charges to be deducted is 10%, which means the amount received by the admin will be $90. But since the vendor is one who will bear the gateway charges, he or she will receive 30% minus 10% which equals to exactly $20 as the vendor commission, while the admin will receive the rest $70. For the third option, if both the admin and the vendor wants to bear the gateway charges individually, the charges for using the gateway get deducted from both of them. For example, the product cost is $100. Vendor commission is 30% and the gateway charges is 10%. In this case, the vendor commission received would be $30 and the admin fee would be 100 minus 30 which is exactly $70. Now let us apply the gateway charges separately. The gateway charge deducted from the vendor commission is $3 that is 10% of $30. So the final amount the vendor shall receive is $27. The gateway charges deducted from the admin fee is $7 that is 10% of $70. So the final amount shall admin receive is $63. For the gateway charge type, you can choose the following option. Percentage. To deduct a certain percentage as the gateway fee. Fixed amount. A certain amount would be deducted as the gateway fee. Percentage and fixed amount. Both a percentage value and a certain amount is deducted as the gateway charge. Finally, complete the payment configuration by entering the gateway charges separately for the different payment gateways. Let me set it to $20 for each of the gateway values. With this, we have come to the end of our video. In the upcoming videos, we shall be discussing about the vendor payments and the disbursement. If you like the tutorial, then do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Click on the small red bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thank you for watching.